Hi guys, last uh, in some of the video we see how to register the C++ classes in the Qt uh, and after that we use in QML side and some of uh, I also uh, study uh, like uh, how to register the QML files in C++ and after that how to use in the QML side. So similarly we created uh, the simple project here and we already added some of the images like images in the SVG files and some of the point. So we provide this project uh, in our GitHub projects in here you can download and go on our profile uh, from the GitHub like github.com and slash cppqt there and slash basic uh, iphone components so here you can download this similar project we uploaded here and after that you can also start uh, from there download this project and load from mqt and after that we see here uh, i added in this uh, like some of the files here okay pragma like single attain and this is this and here we register these uh, uh, files like font app style this one the app style and uh, one of uh, we added the font style where it uh, go so this is the font style so we added the font style and some of the font uh, are there we added this look at this So here we added this uh, font and after that we register these two inside the main.cpp file here. So you can download and load this project and start from there. So in this video uh, we'll see uh, and also the next video we'll see how to customize these uh, uh, existing component uh, of the Qt will provide the controls. We call it the controls uh, Qt uh, QML controls. So in this video we see how to customize the text field and in further video we'll see the one by one how to customize the combo box or call it the drop down drop down and how to made our self as a, as a custom component so let's uh, get started so i'm creating uh, one file which is called the text field or the custom text field okay so let's uh, create one file uh, custom custom text field. okay one more thing uh, you need to understand here whenever you creating uh, the component or uh, like customizing the existing component the name of that file must to start from the capital letter okay so like I'm putting here the custom uh, custom as C is the capital so and rest of the you made anything like you if you follow like capitalization then you can make it and you follow according as of your choice but uh, at the starting uh, letter always the capital letter okay otherwise you face the issue okay so let's get started so I'm created this file custom text field dot qml and let's import the control uh, which we need to like customize so i'm uh, importing lattice library of control here and also import uh, some of uh, pre-register the user defined library like app style so i'm using here import app style one control and also in import we need to import the layout okay layout for using the column layout or row layout so i imported this and here we use the text field because i'm modifying the text field okay so what we need now name i have put here the control okay i put it this as a control so let's see how we use this in man dot uh, qml file so i'm using here this uh, the custom text field so i'm just simply write if you are added uh, some other directory so you need to Im import or include here that directory so i added the current directory if i'm not added still it will work look at see how this will work like i'm using the custom text so custom text field 
okay so we can put again any of name so i added the text field the id of that okay let's and uh, like i'm putting the column layout here so we need to import the control here okay not control here the layout so i'm added the layout here let's uh, see i'm putting it in the center okay center and parent so let's see and run in on this project and see what happening so let's see no such file or directory in font system it says no such directory font system okay i made a mistake here i added the font style here okay so font style let's run again and see oh. okay now it is visible so we can put here the text field anything okay so that's working fine so let's customize it or uh, we need to customize here in this text field so first of all we need to add here some like font family font weight and if we made this bold or not and the color of the text color okay so changing first of all we need to do and before uh, that we after also we can uh, like uh, adding the implicit width or height of that text field so i'm not doing this uh, i'm just adding the font style so font dot pixel size is a uh, font dot so i'm adding this style so i added the font style here font dot style so i'm using the s3 because we already added here the s3 is 18.72 so i added this uh, font style uh, uh, dot s3 and font dot family also we use uh, family here like uh, app font uh, style okay so font dot style which family i am using the get content control bold okay so i'm just content font get content font dot name which one i use this one like uh, get font content okay get font regular okay this one i think this one is good get awesome regular name so font dot bold let's uh, here add one more property call it uh, type is bool and if we need to like bold or not okay so bold or not like i'm initially i'm making it a false so let's check here if uh, like needed the bold then i'm using here the font style okay Font style that create which one I am getting there the bold one this one font bold get content bold get content bold dot name else we added the get content font okay get content for not I'm using regular here so I added this if the font is bold then we use this one font style other than we use this simple font style okay and here one more property we use font dot bold then it bold then what we need to is like font dot bold else font dot normal okay and uh, i also add the weight here font dot weight 
edit bold then font dot bold font dot bold else font dot normal okay so i added the font dot bit here and font dot bold font dot family and font is pixel size how is and i am now adding the color color is got app style dot uh, text color okay so i am adding the text color here now i added here the placeholder placeholder text so this is this is placeholder text okay this is the placeholder now i am also added the placeholder text placeholder text color so app uh, style dot uh, placeholder text color we added here the placeholder text color i think this one placeholder color so i'm adding here this one placeholder color so we made it this uh, we you can also change the text uh, like selection color we'll see in later so let's run and see what uh, the way we are showing uh, because I already added uh, this here uh, we checking and inside this we made it this uh, like font style added pixel size so this is quite good it is showing the large text field let's add but not showing the uh, color because I think the text color also in the white so let's see what the text color here I added the white so let's uh, make it black zero zero okay so I added this let's check yeah quite good but uh, the thing is the corner is not rounded we need uh, some of the corner and we need to change the corner color so one of the property the text field will provide here we can add from this let's go inside and like putting the cursor from the text field and it will hover this and pressing the F1 from this uh, some of like this is the hierarchy from the text input and go to the text input and not from the text input other then you can look at the it provide the background so we can also put here the background and we can customize the background so I'm using the background here and let's put the rectangle okay so rectangle you put it here in rectangle what we need to do here in rectangle i am using the implicit width and implicit height to put it from the parent so let's implicit height implicit is or the control dot height okay control dot implicit height implicit height and implicit width control dot implicit width okay so i did uh, the control dot implicit width and what the radius so uh, we need to add one more property here the property is uh, radius so we make it as a real so radius radius i made it here and now i'm putting the radius uh, like 12 here so control dot radius so we can change the radius from uh, the view where the component from there so I use the radius here the second thing we need to add the color okay so I added the color so app style dot uh, added the pop up background uh, background okay pop up background uh, one of the color we added here the pop-up background uh, this one like okay so this is the similar color we added pop-up background color and the next thing we need to change some border and border color so what we need to do here border dot color border color i'm if uh, checking the 
active control that active focus if active focus then app style dot uh, app style okay other than what is app style dot uh, border color okay so add the border color and second thing you need to add the border uh, dot width so control dot active focus then border with two other than border with one okay so this is we added here let's see what uh, if it, it is working or not so i added this let's check This will work in. we got some like round shape here and what it's saying not assigning the Q color uh, there may be uh, some problem this style or not so border I made a mistake here I think let's uh, yeah now it is working look at this so again we need to what we need to do here uh, i'm changing the color again the white uh, from the app style uh, sorry the text color is white okay because i changed the background color and not looking good so let's change yeah that's good let's see this one okay that looks quite good look this you can also like uh, reset this uh, property like uh, i am added here like if we like adding the radius again modifying the radius so i'm late, uh, like there we put the radius is uh, 12 but i'm putting here the radius is only the 8 so let's again check so the radius is 8 you can also like uh, add here the implicit width and height according to you like if you want to like um, uh, like uh, width is around uh, like 300 and implicit uh, also i am changing the height like 55 only so let's again check uh, if it is uh, like working or not so you can also modify uh, from here any property of uh, we previously added here but if you still want to like uh, adding some of the color on runtime or different different uh, uh, like component using different different color so you can also modify this uh, like meeting the custom property like i made it here the radius of from the control here so you can also made this color property from here and after that you can add uh, like uh, more different different like uh, border color or or something like okay so let's i'll show you it's still here like i'm added this machine. let's select this control plus a so we selected this it will showing the like selected color so you can also modify the selected color anything you want to make like this one select some color and also the border color you can make it as a different so i'm like adding here the selection color okay so in here i'm adding selection color okay selection color selection text color select 
selected text so he added the selection color and selected text color okay selected text color should be a white okay selection text color should be white and select selected selection color should be uh, blue or green okay let's check with the green and what happened you can uh, like uh, as per your permit you can add here the selection color and so that selection text color I'm not changed here anything okay so let's uh, put some text here okay let's select uh, and it will change it like selection color a uh, text color is a white and the selection color is uh, like green okay so you can also modify according to you you uh, uh, your use so if uh, you also modify these property like i'm added here the bold so you can also like here if i uh, made this tool let's see what happening and you also add uh, uh, further if you have requirement some of the properties like if you want to change some background other than so you can also make these property and change according to your use okay so let's see uh, the bold this color is the bold now it's bolder look at this so this will work perfectly okay so like i'm i'm using software developer okay so it will be perfect and looks good so this is the text field like i'm here also show you how to use uh, again like i'm adding here the Optimal layout okay so i'm adding here the column layout and uh, with color parent dot with okay and uh, enter dot horizontal center parent dot horizontal center okay so i'm like removing the center and property because we cannot use this let's indent and now again we use here the custom text field again and we provide some spacing there so spacing should be a fan or the 20 okay so we cannot add this text field the id the same you can use different different id so i'll provided here the radius 12 here the 8 here i'm putting the selection color blue and this is the white only and here the green and I also want to make some changes like uh, we I'm adding this border color are different okay this one so app style but the border color okay let's check uh, what uh, we made it this border color like this one is this uh, and the app style color what we made it here the app style app style we made it this uh, blue color okay so let's check uh, we changes this border color okay property color type and we are i'm adding in the border color changing the border color okay so initially what uh, should be it the app style okay so app style we added here so control dot border color okay so i'm adding here control dot uh, border color border color okay now i can change this border color to different different here like i'm adding here the border color is uh, app style dot uh, app style dot border color okay app style dot app style okay app style dot app style and here i am changing the border color okay here i'm changing what i'm changing here i'm changing here the green border color as a green okay so we can change or we can i'm adding using the red okay and differently i'm using one more text field here so i'm adding the radius as a okay and here i'm using the green and different different color you can use and i'm adding bold false okay so you can use different different and set the different different style and further if you want again change anything property like which is i'm um, not written 
in custom my text field so you can add your own property like this look at this this is the blue i'm adding here and this is the red we can add it here the border color and here i'm adding the green okay so this is the red this is the blue this is the green okay so you also can uh, wish on your what you want you just modify that property previously i added so you can also change this okay so this will work perfectly the text field so like i have made it horizontal center but it uh, will not uh, let's see see you have horizontal center not uh, like so just i am adding in center and so looks good okay let's run it and see the changes how it will work yeah that's good look at here i um, also added different different the radius like this is the radius we added the 8 here we added 12 here we added around like how much the 18 so this one you can use according to your uh, need okay and also make some bold or not bold as per your requirement so this is the text field customization okay so i added here so that's all in this video and we will see uh, the next control how to customize the next control in upcoming lecture in this video we will see the how to customize the text field and use according our choice okay so thank you and please uh, subscribe our youtube channel so in future we upload any video you get the notification so that's all thank you